All right, Sagittarius, let's get into your reading. You are starting off with building blocks and between worlds. All right, your person has blessed. And what else? Sagittarius's person's overall energy. Change in the wind. Okay, go the distance, underlying energy. All right, I feel like, Sag, you're trying to leave some maybe chaos, conflict, some dark energy behind and go into the light. I feel like you're really focused on foundation, stability, long-term structure here, all right? Um, they have blessed and a change in the wind. Um, they might be making some changes in their life or to themselves here. If you walked away or if you left this person behind, they might be thinking it's time to change, you know? Um, I feel like they do see this connection here between the two of you as blessed. Um, and there's some changes. I'm seeing a lot of twos, so look up angel number 2222. Two, two, two. Four twos here. Um, look up angel number 222. Two, two. Uh, yeah, you really want something that's going to be long term. You don't want to be round and round in cycles, false hope, false promises, false starts, things like that. Uh, but let's get into your reading, Sag, and see what's going on with your person. When I say your person's energy, um, Sag, feel free to flip flop and reverse it. It could be yours, okay? Uh, starting out with Ace of Swords. So that's truth, clarity, honesty, victory um nine of cups that's a wish fulfillment and three of pentacles that's working together as a team um building towards the same future wanting the same having the same goals wanting the same things yeah i feel like there was a painful ending here um sag ten of swords is here there could have been betrayal backstab lies deception um but i feel like this painful ending is an ending here okay i feel like this person wants to come around, express some kind of truth and clarity. I feel like you are a wish come true to them and they wanna they want to build with you. They want equal give and take. They want reciprocity. This person could have at some point been breadcrumbing you or making you feel like you were breadcrumbed or strung along, you know, or they could have been giving to two at some point, but let's keep going. What else? Sagittarius is person. Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If they were giving to two, the other person could have been an earth sign or they could have been married or in a higher level of commitment with children. You could be married to them as well. Take it how it resonates. All right, let's see. What are blockages here for Sagittarius and this person? Blockages, blockages. Sag and their person blockages. It's blocking this connection. Page of Cups. There could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be. Uh, things could have just been, it wasn't playful, youthful, fun. Could also be children, okay? Um, to a sword, someone couldn't make up their damn mind. Someone was struggling to make a decision. What is this? The star, Aquarius, a wish come true, ace of cups, eight of swords, page of pentacles, queen of swords. Someone was stuck and this new love couldn't evolve here. They couldn't make a decision. There could have been a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini that was in the way that they were stuck to. So I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling. It's like one of those situations here, Sag, where like you met this person, things were going good. They were telling you like, oh, I'm getting a divorce or I'm going through a separation. Um, but it wasn't maybe as far along as you thought or had hoped or they led on. So I feel like there was some like serious miscommunication here. And that's why they want to come to you and tell you the truth. There's something that or someone that needed to be cut off and cut out here. And it, I feel like they just exaggerated 
the situation. Yeah, they were juggling. Well, let's see. How does this person feel about you, Sag? Well, they feel like you turned your back on them. Yep. Four of Cups, Five of Wands, Knight of uh, Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. They feel like you turned your back. Um, you're rejecting them now because there was drama, too many people involved, competitions. You feel like this person was being a player. They know you wanted commitment. I feel like they're going to come towards you with an apology. They could be seeing you, watching you, like having fun, unbothered for some of you. Yeah, you turned your back. You, re you rejected this person once all this came to light. They, they know you want foundation. They know you want stability long term here. Yep, the sun, Leo energy, two of pentacles and seven of cups. Either it's like they treated you like an option and they were juggling. But what they came to realize, Sag, is that you were the one that made them happy or you are the one that makes them happy. And I feel like they want to come towards you and apologize. They know they caused confusion here. Let's see, what are you going to do, Sag? What are you going to do? Potential outcome, potential outcome. <laughs> Two of Cups. Oh, soulmate energy, equal exchange of love. Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, you might still hang on to this burden, though. Let's see. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to get the whole story. Some of you may go back to somebody else from the past. But you're moving in secret. You're not telling anybody. Who is this person? Who is this person? The tower. Scorpionic energy. Queen of Swords. Libra. Sag, are you going back to someone else? Ooh, it's like this person's going to rue the day that they lied to you or, or played whatever game they played. Uh, this person's gonna end up having like some serious regrets here because I feel like you're gonna cut them off. You're looking at other options where you're gonna have victory and success and you're gonna put in work and effort here. That's why between worlds, you're leaving, I think, this situation behind. Who is this person? For Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like you're going to reconcile with somebody from the past past. You're going to abandon this. You may have a, an Aries or an Emperor energy coming towards you that you're going to have a new beginning with, Sag. That you may feel is a soulmate that you may have abandoned in the past or abandoned you in the past. It's like a situation where it's someone you dated a while back and I feel like <laughs> you might reconcile with that person. 
and have a, a stable new beginning with that person. Could be, could be an Aries, could be a Capricorn. You could be leaving a Capricorn for an Aries. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Could be any sign. Um, but you are after victory and success. You, you want equal give and take, reciprocity. You want balance here and stability long term. Some of you might be just taking this person back and that's where it's going to be. But I feel like some of you are reconciling with somebody else for a stable new beginning. Huh, interesting. All right, let's see. Blockages or I mean obstacles, <laughs> obstacles. All right, change. Yeah, so this could be a big change. Maybe you're not, you don't like change, not used to change. Change isn't always easy. All right. I also see the yin yang. I feel like the change is going to bring balance here. New vision. Yeah, I think you're going after new or a new beginning with somebody else. It may not even be someone from your past, you guys. It's just I feel like it might be. Yeah, and overcoming fighting, arguing. The outsider. Someone could have abandoned you or you abandoned them. Something like that. Take it how it resonates. But you have a new beginning here, and I feel like it is going to be stable. I feel like it is going to go the distance, which is what you're looking for, right? All right, let's see. What other messages for Sagittarius? What other messages for Sagittarius? All right, rise above drama, obstacles, pettiness. Find the strength to rise. Pause. In action, calmness. Step back. Wait for the sign. Denial, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. Uh, blessings here, protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. So something could very well be divinely guided. I am seeing a lot of angel wings in this reading. Um, so something could be divinely guided. A tower moment could be, uh, came in on purpose to shake things up, to put you on the right path. All right, uh, Sag, ask yourself a yes or no question. And I will tell you the answer in three, two, one. The answer to your question is yes. All right. Oh, I meant to do these. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? What other messages from your person? What do they want to say to Sagittarius? All right, I want to be more than friends, so they could have just friend zoned you, and that's why things kind of got a little, little cuckoo for a little bit there. All right, let's see, what else? What do they want to say to Sagittarius? What does this person want to say to you? Wow, I feel like they don't want to talk. I knew exactly what I was doing. My life is not together as it seems. Yeah, you might be saying we need to let each other go. You were the best thing in my life. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, see? All right, Sag, let's get some letters. First, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. If their first and last name have the same initial, please feel free to duplicate it because I only have one of each. All right, we have K B A Z P H O L T N Y U S. So K B A Z P H O L T N. S-U-Y. Let's get some numbers for Sag. Could be birthday, anniversary, date of significance, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an angel number. Could be an age. Place it where you see fit, okay? What do we got? We have 5, 8, 10, 11. So it could be the 5th, 8th, 10th, or 11th of any month. Could be May, August, October, or November. All right, zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts, could be during that season, like Sagittarius season, for instance, all right? Let's 
let's see we have capricorn cancer aquarius and pisces capricorn cancer aquarius and pisces all right capricorn did come in strong here you guys um Aries did too, but that didn't show up. Cancer, Pisces. I don't know. It could be any sign, you guys. Take it how it resonates. There's a lot of scorpionic energy as well. Uh, could be anyone. All right. Uh, so, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you this week. Please.